Ashley Piercings, pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages, coming up next on Pros and Cons by a Piercer, episode number 66. So stick around. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Davo. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So when I talk to you about these things, I'm talking to you with a level of expertise as someone who has been piercing in the industry for well over 25 years. So what is an Ashley piercing? Um, an Ashley piercing is an experimental piercing that is done through the lip. And you, I'll put up some photos. Um, like a LeBray stud or like a LeBray piercing, but it's done above the, the uh, lip line, through the lip. It's basically kind of a, well, surface to surface piercing in a way. Uh, this piercing is not one that I suggest doing or one that I will do. Uh, this, the reason why I'm doing this video is I've had so many requests for it. Um, if you are considering getting this piercing done, I highly advise you that you find somebody who's done a number of them, supposedly, and uh, go over the risk and complica complications that this piercing can present. Then, after you've gone through that whole process, make an educated decision on whether or not you want this piercing with all the issues that are involved with it. We're going to start out with the pros, and I struggled to find them, uh, and, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. I'm going to give you five of each, so this is the advantages. First one being is that this is not a very common piercing. This is an extremely rare piercing. You're not going to see a lot of people out there in the wild wearing them or having them. Um, this is just one of those piercings that not many people have. Number two, uh, it's it's a piercing. That's cool, right? It, it's a piercing. I mean, that's why we're here. We like piercings. Well, it's it's definitely a piercing. Number three draws a lot of attention to the uh, to the lower lip. Uh, if you are really proud of uh, that structure of your face, I guess it's going to draw a lot of attention there. So if that's what you're seeking, that's what you're going to get. Number four, it's very stylish. According to all the uh, style blogs out there that have pushed this piercing as one of the hottest new trends in piercing. Understand, when you're seeing these things, especially on Pinterest and Instagram and etc., by these people that they're they're the same people that advise you on what cute top to wear. They have absolutely no background knowledge, et cetera, on body piercing. They are, they generally just, they, it seems like it's something they do every six months. They go, they do their top 10 piercings to have. They don't know what they're talking about 90% of the time. They're not coming from the industry themselves. They're in the fashion industry. It'd be like asking me, you know, what dress is going to look work best this spring. I, I don't know because I don't do anything that has to do with fashion beyond body piercing. Number five, the last of the pros. It may reject or migrate to the point where you decide you need to remove it because it looks stupid before it chips your front teeth. Now with the advantages out of the way, let's move on to all those great fun disadvantages. The first one being is that because of where it's positioned, the jewelry is more than likely going to have a lot of contact with your front teeth. Meaning, you're going to have a metal object that is constantly banging and cracking and smacking and catching and etc. on your front teeth. So if you don't like smiling a lot or you don't really care how your teeth look, which is one of those things that most people judge other people by, perfect piercing. Uh, go ahead and get it done. Uh, do a lot of enamel damage uh, and enjoy because it's going to mess up your front teeth more than likely, or at least it has an extremely high risk of that. When we do other piercings on the lip area, we generally try to lower them and put them in that kind of area where there's more space for that jewelry to sit and not have contact with your teeth and gums. This one, 
There is no room. Number two, the piercing, number two, that's three. This is two. Number two, this piercing will more than likely reject or at least migrate. If you are unaware of what rejection is and migration is, that's where your body decides that since there's not enough supportive tissue in there to keep it from doing it, it'll slowly move it one way or another or completely reject it out of the body. Number three, swelling. You're going to see a lot of it. Uh, basically, you're going through a lot of blood vessels. You're going through an area that is prone to swelling. If you've ever been smacked in the mouth and had that big swollen lip, you're going to enjoy a lot more of that than you would with a traditional lip piercing or a uh, labrae piercing. Number four, because of that issue with the migration rejection and the swelling, you combine the two of those uh, the fact that it's through soft tissue and that it is prone to swelling, it is more than likely going to end up healing uh, crooked and off-center, and it's going to just draw attention to the fact that it is crooked and off-center. Um, I have yet to see any of these that have healed completely um, that look straight. They tend to look a little bit off to the side or the other. Maybe I just haven't seen that one yet, but most of the photos that I see where it looks very straight, it's obviously only a few moments after the piercing was done. Number five, uh, just like any facial piercing, this is gonna affect your ability to become employed. This may impact you in a social stance, uh, as far as social interaction, and et cetera. So take that into consider getting it done. Finally, my final few statements on this particular piercing. I do believe that what this is, is it's either a piercer trying to make a name for themselves and doing something different, which may be a possibility, or experimenting with trying something new. However, there's a part of me that thinks that the person made an error. They pierced too high, they didn't have it placed correctly, and thus made a mistake. To cover up the mistake, they came up with a name for it. And there have been a number of different names that, have, that this piercing has gone under, like reverse uh, vertical labrae, uh, converse uh, lateral, translateral lip piercings, all kinds of things that really are more of a trying to officiate something and make it more legit than it actually is. Uh, but I'm guessing the person that first popularized this or uh, got the most views or what have you, must have said, hey, it's called an Ashley because my name is Ashley. Beyond that, it is an experimental piercing. Whenever doing uh, an experimental piercing, you should go in and do as much research about it, get as much interaction, talk to other people about their experience of having the piercing, uh, research your piercer, and do it due diligence to a point where you know absolutely every risk that's involved and still want the piercing. This is not something that you walk into a shop and go, I want an Ashley piercing. You really, really need to find the person that supposedly can do it, can do it well, and has had good luck with the piercing's healing. So that's about all I have to say on that particular subject today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, found it informative, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it uh, because I like it when you like it. If you have not subscribed already, please hit the subscription and click on that notification bell. This channel is focused on educating people new or old to the to body piercing and tattooing. And we post between, well, right now we're posting roughly seven days a week. Uh, they can vary from everything from panel discussion shows all the way down to just pros and cons of body piercing basics and stuff like this. If you're a stylish individual who likes to have uh, stylish t-shirts, uh, bags to tote things in, stickers to put on stuff, um, and beach towels when you go to the beach, that express your love of body art, check out our merch uh site. Uh, listed, uh, there's a merch shelf below with a few of the designs. We have more than that on our uh, store. Check that out. Uh, not only because uh, it's cool and you'll enjoy them, but it helps out with supporting the channel. Till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see if your body piercing needs in the future. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands.